being a mom and having a family is what I've always wanted to do. Just emotionally too much for me to accept that I couldn't get pregnant on my own. We are mammals and there is an innate and instinctual drive to procreate. It's a very human trait to want to have a child and see your genes in that child. I felt like something was taken from me. The biggest emotional challenge that couples face is the mourning process of not having their own biological child. We've been trying to conceive for probably about three years. We had tons of tests done. I had a premature ovarian failure. It takes emotional energy, time, and finances to get through the process. It's a marathon for a lot of couples. The World Health Organization has just recently classified infertility as a disease. I am seeing women in their mid to late 30s, early 40s, who were among the first generation that truly could compete with men. No one really told them that their eggs were different from sperm. Um, they're going to run out of them. You read in the press that this actress got pregnant at 45, this one at 48. So I'm like, easy, I'm going to get pregnant like this. And the doctor said, your hormone level is so low, you're not going to get pregnant naturally anymore. And I was like, what? Today we're going in to harvest some sperm so his wife can use them tomorrow for in vitro. We help achieve the dream of family by offering highly screened sperm donors. I'd say we're probably responsible for 30, 35,000 children out there. I always knew that I wanted to have kids and I knew that being in a relationship with a woman wasn't going to stop me. Eggs are fertilized by mixing them with sperm in a lab dish or injecting one sperm directly into the egg. The laboratory is an essential component because that is where we are growing the eggs and sperm and making embryos. So some of the genetic tests we've developed help us to work out which embryo is the most viable. You want to take a look at through a Western medicine and as well as a traditional Chinese medicine. Men who present with no sperm at all, you can now get their partners pregnant. It's like a dream come true. There's alternatives that you can turn to. And absolutely, donor egg was an awesome choice for us. Egg freezing has a potential to lead a social revolution. We're clearly helping people conceive that Mother Nature would not have allowed to conceive.